Well, an adorable new primate has been discovered in Madagascar, and a SUNY professor is a part of the research. Terry Belke takes us to the outdoors. The discovery of a new species is always a cause for celebration in the environmental community. The Groves Dwarf Lemur was recently named a new species by a team of scientists in Madagascar. The team included Dr. Adam McLean, an assistant biology professor at SUNY Polytechnic near Utica. Thousands of species are identified around the world every year. A lot of those are obviously plants, insects, fish, things like that. But uh, we are losing a lot of the planet's biodiversity. Uh, you know, daily it's, it's happening all around us. And, and I know most people are aware of that and can see it happening. And, and so I think finding a new species like this is a nice way to bring attention to what we're losing. Lemurs are a unique primate found only on the island of Madagascar off the southeast coast of Africa. There are a little over a hundred species of lemur on the island and many look very similar. In the beginning of this study almost 15 years ago, researchers relied on old school methods in their search for the new species. This is generally just a good tip for field biologists everywhere. Uh, in general, if you listen to what local people have to say, uh, they might be able to point you in the direction of something new because they're, gonna, they're going to have been aware of it for a long time because they've been living there, uh, obviously. Uh, you know, so things like that can make a big difference. It was modern technology that helped make the discovery definitive. Better technology that didn't exist even 10 or 15 years ago. You couldn't do the kind of DNA-based work that you can do now, right? Uh, yeah. So... Uh, the technology is always improving. About 90% of the lemur species on the island have a conservation status of at least threatened. Their decline has been human influenced. They're mining, uh, uh, you know, deforestation caused by cutting down rosewood trees, uh, which are illegally exported and used to make furniture and things like that. Uh, just, uh, but but agriculture is the primary driver. You know, people are people are hungry and they need to grow food, uh, and so. Uh, it's, it's a tough problem. Uh, it's a tough problem to address. Dr. McLean hopes that discoveries like this will have an effect on budding young scientists. It's incredibly cool, the idea that maybe, uh, like when I was a kid, and I, I used to love to read the National Geographic and all that, and I think it's uh, the idea is incredibly cool that, you know, some kid someplace might see this and decide that he, he or she wants to be a, a primatologist one day, right, and, and go do what I do. So sure. um, I like that idea as well. Taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.